are in the middle, almost at the end of the second day at DTW24 here in Copenhagen, Denmark, at Ericsson booth. And we had the pleasure, I'm thrilled, that we are with Jean Christophe Laneri. And Jean Christophe, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. And you're be very busy this day, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Day two, day two. A lot day of energy. Two. Yes, exactly. But we are we are still here. And tell us about your role. What's your role here in at Ericsson? Well, uh, I'm heading a team called Coin Team Network Solutions, uh, and I'm basically responsible for helping customers to transform their operations uh, to get to zero touch, right, with AI and autonomous networks. That's amazing, that's exciting. And I know you have an international experience all over the world, including Asia, right? You spend some time in China and many other countries. So, I mean, um, also you meet with communication service provider from all over the world. That's good. So from there, what is, we want to know what you think about what is making the industry tick these days uh, in network automation and AI? Yeah, so, I mean, in general, I would say everybody, you know, I meet is really interested in understanding how can they capture more value out of 5G, yes. right? Like, uh, number one. Number two, how can they streamline their operations, right? And I think uh, from that perspective, autonomous networks, you know, fueled by AI, are really very, very hot, right? Like, uh, and they're hot because, uh, simply because, you know, it's a big model change, right? Like, uh, yes. we have the right demand and supply. Yes. Uh, you know, AI maturity is there. Mm -hmm. Compute cost has gone down. And now with an industry that is lining up around, you know, the Oran Alliance ecosystem, the SMO architecture, I think we are getting the right enablers to really scale AI in network operation, and if you do that, I think it's a tremendous impact for the for the industry. I, I, I couldn't agree more with that, and and also, what do you think is the rate of adoption uh, for I mean, in communication service providers, and how to introduce also I mean the rate of adoption in AI, and how to introduce acceleration for it because. Yes, everybody is talking about AI, many about automation, and you just mentioned everybody wants to be involved on how to learn about it. But what about this? What is the rate of adoption? Yeah, so I think in general, everybody is, is doing experimentation, right? Uh, a lot of experimentation is ongoing around AI, and how can AI help, right? Like, um, yes. having said that, it's not so many CSPs that have taken this to production, right, at industrial mm -hmm. scale. and. Uh, I think that's what we see all around, and, uh, and this is why we're working so hard, right? Because we need to enable that, and I think some of it we need to enable from a technology perspective, right? Like uh, by giving flexibility, right? Like uh, an agility to the CSPs, right? Like uh, we are training our, our models, our AI models, based on the toughest networks that Ericsson is part of. Having said that, we need to give them the opportunity to retrain the models uh, with their market reality. Uh, on the other side, we also need to create trust, right? Trust with the engineering teams that are kind of running those networks 24-7. And this is why we have launched uh, Explainable AI, so that we not only give some outcome, but we also explain why we have such outcome, why we have such recommendations. As during all these days at DTW24 here in Copenhagen, we have the best insight in the telecom industry. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.